What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. I've been trying to find as many African American owned restaurants in Minneapolis as I can so that I can try their food and feature them. So today I have food from a place called Afro Deli and they actually do African fusion. So they combine African Mediterranean and American dishes. Everything looks amazing. I'm super excited to try. So real quick, let me just go over what we do have here. This is the Afro steak dinner, shredded beef steak seasoned, <laughs> I can't read. Shredded beef steak seasoned and marinated with African spices, vegetable oil, fresh lime, cilantro, sauteed bell peppers, sweet onion, fresh garlic, and homemade red sauce over basmati rice. This is the Chicken Fantastic, which first of all, I love the name. And second of all, I've heard really great things about it. So the Chicken Fantastic is cuts of white grilled chicken with sauteed bell peppers, carrot, zucchini, fresh garlic, light cream sauce, and grated Parmesan cheese over Somali seasoned basmati rice. We have Sambusa, it is an African pastry it looks very similar to samosa which is the indian pastry that's deep fried shaped pretty much the same way and it's usually stuffed with uh, spiced chickpea i have one beef one chicken and one veggie and there is a hot sauce on the side and it is very fresh and looks like they just literally threw some jalapenos into a blender and, and called it <laughs> so we'll be careful with that sweet plantains which i love and the gentleman there was super sweet and threw in the dessert for me so we've got just some some baklava here and then lastly we have th this really awesome looking burrito the chapati wrap i went with lamb gyro with fresh vegetables and Somali rice, lettuce, it says comes with tzatziki sauce, but I sadly don't see it. The lamb gyro sadly did not come with the tzatziki sauce, but it's okay. Not a ruiner of all the things. I suppose I could just get some Greek yogurt, though it's just not the same, but I'll do it. Never turned with Greek yogurt. I'll keep it off camera. Oh, when did you fall? What should we start with? Ooh, let's start with the appetizer. <laughs> I could be careful, Lindsay. Don't freaking go for it. Mm. The pastry is really interesting. It's not, I mean, maybe it was intended to be crispier. It's been sitting for a little while. It's like kind of doughy and flaky, which I like. I really like the consistency of it. It's got like a slight chew. I'm curious if all of them will be like that. Mmm. Mmm. That hot sauce is actually really good. I don't want to get too crazy though. Hmm? Really not overly seasoned, just like lightly spiced. <clears throat> That's really good. Ooh, I want to try a plantain. Mm. That's really good. They look amazing. They still have a firmness to them, so they're not like mush, but they've developed this like super sweet flavor. It's like caramelized flavor.
Chicken Fantastic. How fantastic are you really? Mm. Again, really subtle. I wasn't expecting like a cream and cheese based dish, but it's really not heavy. They've got the vegetables in here, which helps to lighten it up. And again, the rice is more like scented. It's not a super strong flavor. Mmm. What was that? It tasted something sweet. I don't think it was sweet enough to be a raisin or anything. It could have just been a bell pepper. The vegetables in here are like kind of my favorite part, actually. And the rice. Is so simple but like super comforting kind of reminds me of a casseroles my mom used to make <clears throat> Ooh, they are raisins i was right kind of well i said it probably wasn't raisins because it's too sweet but they look to be golden raisins Try this steak. This is this is really shame, so I can't eat too much of it. couple things. First of all, the steak dish has a slight spice to it. Shame. <laughs> the steak dish has a slight spice to it. Wow, wow. Second of all, the cat is right behind the camera staring up at whatever kind of bug that is outside, but he's like moving his mouth and not making any noise. <laughs> he's looking up and going, Butter, do you see something? So, oh my god, he's like licking his lips and everything. Butters, the food we feed you is way more delicious than that bug. Way more. His whole mouth is vibrating. He is very, he's laser focused right now. He's not looking up at all.
So the reason they're calling it a chapati wrap is because of what they're using to wrap the burrito. So it's an East African flatbread, but it's also found it's like roti, Indian, Nepalese. I love when you can see the brown spots on tortilla wraps or whatever kind of wrap. I love the spots. I live for the spots. That bug's not gonna go anywhere. Mm. But I wouldn't freaking give to have some of my homemade tzatziki right now. I love how chewy this chapati is. And they've got pretty decent sized vegetables in here. I feel like some of this hot sauce would also be good on it. The rice in here, same rice, so good. Did that bug not listen to you? He's still there. Also, the bug looks like it's humping. Our slider. <laughs> Ooh. I definitely want to try both of these other flavors. Hmm. I was not expecting that. This is a vegetable. And it looks like it's mostly beans and lentils, actually. So really similar to a samosa, which also has beans. It's a really starchy center. It's also onions and herbs in there. I'm excited to try this one too. This one has like a crunchier. Mmm. It's so colorful.
those golden raisins are, they just make it so, so good. Because that cream could really have made it <clears throat> heavy, but the veg, and then the raisins have like a little bit of acidity, so they're sweet. And the brightness from the acid really just helps lift it up. Really good. I love baklava, by the way. I love pistachios, I love honey, I love pastry. How could it be bad? So cinnamony. I love cinnamon. I truly don't understand people that don't like cinnamon. I've run into a few people, seriously, that don't like cinnamon. Where do people come from? Are you one of them? All right guys, well, I'm feeling pretty good right now. I'm not overly full, which is ideal. I'm glad I got to try a little bit of everything. I think my personal favorites, I really want to try the tzatziki sauce, but I really did like this wrap. I liked the wrap itself. I love the rice. The gyro meat tasted great. I liked the veg inside. So I really think that sauce would have tied it all together. I loved these pastries, Sambusa, and the chicken was definitely my favorite, not just because it tasted great, but it was beautiful inside. It had this beautiful red, yellow, green, white. Loved it. This chicken, fantastic. <clears throat> really simple, not like punching you in the face with flavor necessarily. It's got a subtleness to it. The sweet plantains were just amazing, and can't really go, go wrong with baklava. So all in all, I really liked it. Um, <laughs> this, this is Shane's. The steak, um, it was good. I think the steak itself was just a little dry, but the flavor is really good and it's got a nice spice to it. And this isn't like made by Afro Deli or anything, but I did like it. It's kind of like a sweetened fruity tea. And of course I had a little not overly sweet, really refreshing, so definitely recommend this. It's got 28 grams of sugar in one can, but I think I probably only used like half of the can, which is enough for me. So, not 
terrible but y'all know like I'm not really big on sodas or anything like I prefer to eat my sugar over drink it <laughs> unless I'm having a Trader Joe's margarita which I had one too many of last night because I'm feeling today which would explain also why I added a little Per usual, I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope it helped you decide whether you'd like to go and check out Afro Deli for yourself here in the Twin Cities. I definitely want to be featuring more food from black owned businesses this month and not just black owned businesses but African food different parts of Africa. I like that we kind of started with this. It's like a bridge. There's some really great or what I've heard are really great Ethiopian restaurants in town. I'm sure they are, I just haven't tried them yet. So I'll def definitely be doing an Ethiopian video. And there's some Somali restaurants here too. So I might end up doing a Somali video uh, in the near future as well. And it's Pride Month and I'm super excited about it being Pride Month. So I plan to do a few videos to celebrate Pride, um, celebrate the LGBTQ community, um, have some really fun stuff in store for that, so stay tuned. Thank you guys so much for joining today. All love, no hate. Let's all come together as a community and support one another. And yeah. Alright, I'm gonna stop now. Thanks for joining. Love you guys. And I'll see you soon.